a nightclub recently, and that's where I found out that I'm too short to feel safe and happy out on the dance floor. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. I was like, on the dance floor, minding my own business, like, like cool moves. Like, I don't have time to show you with the cool moves, but cool moves and all. And then this like big threatening oaf comes out onto the dance floor, like, doo -doo, and you just knew he was in the market for a girl's butt to grind. And I clocked him, I was like, I was like, don't pick me, 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 don't pick me. But all the other girls' butts were already taken, so. So don't you know what he's behind me then? I'm like, you know, like, oh, here we go. You know, like, batting down the hatches now. And look, this scenario that I'm describing would be bad for anybody, for any girl of any height, right? Like any girl, it's bad. Nobody wants their butt grind or ground, maybe ground. They don't want their butt ground, ground down into a fine talc. No one wants that, especially from a lummox. No one wants it. But for me, a runt, a registered runt, it's very different for me because things don't line up. So for me, it felt like vigorous, like neck and scalp massage, like little, 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 little. You know, like, like, help me, help me. But like from a masseuse who used just one awful finger. One awful finger and too much oil. I just hate nightclubs in general. I hate them so bad. I just, it's because I find it very hard to get noticed by boys when there's all these other girls around, you know? Especially like nightclub girls, like fancy, like smoking hot, like bikini babe, like sexy, like nightclub girls, you know, with like their like young age. <laughs> and they're like fancy long legs, like long leggy legs that are long, which then render their butts so like desirably high up off the floor. <laughs> And they're also tall, always too tall and leggy and long and tall, probably because they were breastfed, la di da. <laughs> I wasn't breastfed. My brother was, but he came along before me and trashed the diner and then was out the window for me. <laughs> but yeah, and look, I'm not saying that I think of myself as some kind of like disgusting chud from the sewer, but. <laughs> I do find that I'm at my most confident and I feel my most sexy when there's no other girls around at all, at all. That's when I like it best. Actually, sorry, I feel my absolute most super sexy as hell when, like I said, there's no other girls around for miles and miles as far as the eye can see. And plus, there hasn't been any girls around for a while. That's my wheelhouse. That's why I love so bad to go visit my grandpa at his jail. <laughs> oh, I love it there so bad. I'm the hottest and only babe in the joint. And I swan into the jail like this. Da, 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 da. Hi, grandpa. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and all my grandpa's jail friends every time are like this. Oh, God! <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Hoba hoba, they say. <laughs> and I say, uh uh uh, pause off, Grandpa's jail friends. <laughs> and they do, they do keep their paws off, but only because they're back there locked behind the bars. <laughs> only because the, the jail works. But um, it doesn't stop them from bringling their mugs along the poles. <laughs> Just for me. What's wrong, girls? You never had jail mugs bringled about you before? <laughs> you ain't living. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm living pretty high on the hog down at um, Grandpa's jail. <laughs> A lot of people watch my comedy online and they make snarky comments. <laughs> they make snarky comments. Like one guy was like, oh, how many lines did she have before she got on stage? And I'm like, absolutely none actually, thank you very much. I dump it out into just one big blob and do it all like that. <laughs> Cause I care not for like fiddly tasks. I 
I used to be 30. <laughs> I used to be 30, uh, but now I find myself in my 30s, in them. That feels different, doesn't it? In my 30s, like, ugh, you know, in, like, in. Feels different. Because, like, being 30 felt like this. Oh, I'm 30 only just. That's how it felt. Oh, only 30 and no plus nothing. But now I'm in them. That's how it feels like, ugh, like getting further into them every day, like this, ugh, ugh, like further into them. Like 30s, like, ugh, ugh. my face getting baggier and baggier with every step. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And then a Facebook memory will pop up, like, and I'll be like, ugh, 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 ugh. Like, ugh, 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 no. Anyways, all my best gal pals are all in their 30s as well. Actually, one of them has a birthday a couple months before mine. Ugh, dinosaur alert. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Jack.